So in this problem, we are going to make a connection between the kinematic equations that we saw before and uh, Newton's second law, so the dynamics part of the situation. So we have a, a car. It is accelerating forward along a a straight road and it says that if the force of the road on the car's wheels pushing it forward is a constant uh, 3.0 kilonewtons or here just 3 times 10 to the 3 newtons then uh, the mass of the car is 1,000 kilograms. How long will the car take to go from uh, 20 meters per second to 50 meters per second? So notice the precise language that the problem uses. It says the force of the road on the car's wheels. And we will see later, and this is because of uh, Newton's third law. So the wheels exert a force on the road in this direction. Let's say that the car is moving in this direction. Uh, it will be to, you know, towards the back. And because to every uh, action, there is a reaction, there, there's another force that is produced in the opposite direction of equal magnitude, but acts on the other object on the wheel. And so the force that the road exerts on the wheel is in this direction. And so the car moves in this direction. And so it's kind of um, good to know, I guess. So notice that we're given two velocities. And so we could use our kinematic equation this one since it is asking us for a time how long and we know the initial velocity and the final velocity what we don't know is the acceleration the acceleration we can get it from it's the second law, force equals mass times acceleration. So this implies that the acceleration is equal to force divided by mass. And if we want to get the time, the time is going to be equal to V minus V initial divided by the acceleration, right? So we just need to calculate the acceleration in order to, to solve the problem. Um, if you wanna make it a little bit further algebraically, you can say that time is V minus V naught divided by, and this acceleration is the force divided by the mass. So we can move this one over here. So we multiply times the mass and we just divide by the force over there. Right, so that's kind of cool. Uh, we have the mass of the change, the, the difference in velocities, and we have the force. So the time is 50 meters per second um, minus 20 meters per second. The mass is a thousand kilograms. And the force is three times 10 to the three, so 3000. 
uh, newtons. And remember that a newton is kilogram divided by, um, multiplied by meter divided by second squared. So mass times acceleration. So let's look at the units first. Uh, so I guess we could rewrite it over here. So this is gonna be 30 and this is gonna be 1000. So 30 times 10 to the three. The units are kilogram meter per second. And we are dividing by three times 10 to the three kilogram meter second squared. So if let's just look at the units over here, it's gonna be kilogram meter second squared divided by second kilogram meter. So the kilograms go away, the meters go away and one of the seconds goes away. And so we have seconds as the units, which is good because we're looking for a time. And um, yeah, we can just divide this, it's gonna be 10, right? Um, we can cancel this out and 30 divided by three is 10, so 10 seconds. And that is the answer. So cool, right? So a connection between the kinematics and the force. Thank you.